figured stuff out. I think I know what it's about. So blah blah blah. I'm just ranting on. My life. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, you're welcome to Bold Berry and Beautiful. My name is Momo and yeah. <laughs> So guys, I know that it's been forever since I posted a video and I've been getting, you know, messages and being asked like what, what happened, what happened. It kind of got real, basically, like getting to realize that content creating is not really as easy as some great YouTubers make it look like. I mean, I know for sure I want to continue creating content on YouTube, but I was kind of figuring out what my vibe was and what it took and if I'm up for that and all that stuff. So. Yeah, that's kind of why I went MIA and I'm still figuring it out, still learning. And yeah, in the meantime, I can still share with you guys some things that I think about this place. And if you have any questions, you can still ask and I'll be sure to answer those that I can. Anyways, it just had me thinking about some of the things that, you know, I thought, the myths about China that I thought before I came here. This is for me, personal. Some of them are just really funny, hilarious. I don't even know. Why bother to think them or why I just didn't Google them anyway. And I know that I'm not alone. So this video, some of these things may just make me feel look like a fool. <laughs> FYI, I'm informed now, I know. And I know things. Yeah, but I just thought to share with you guys some things I thought or some things you guys think but don't know about this place. Um yeah, so straight to the point. Five or four things about China that I thought were true but turned out to be totally opposite i don't know about you guys but after watching so many chinese movies and watching them do a lot of kung fu stunts and tai chi and stuff i thought almost everybody at least 80 percent of chinese people should be able to do fight guys not true not that i've you know seen any body fight but like i've asked i mean when after like one or two weeks of staying here and seeing nobody being enthusiastic or nobody trying to fight their way through or you know stuff like that i was like no yo what's happening aren't you guys doing anything like should this be a point where you just kind of show what you you know show what you got and i quickly turned out i mean quickly learned that it's not really a thing i mean it was maybe before but for the current generation and the people that are staying in china it's not really not everybody knows actually most people if girls were fighting they probably fight like regular girls you know no offense to girls who fight like that i don't fight but i wouldn't fight like that anyways so yeah not everybody in china knows kung fu actually if you want to lo learn how to do tai chi or kung fu you probably have to go to a school I don't know about you but i thought all chinese people were short i mean I, I really thought they were short you know like i don't know but like i don't know what even made me think they were short but in the movies you know they kind of looked short you know not short like dwarf short but they didn't really look like you know six foot something they look like five foot seven but when i got here i learned that not all of them are short actually an average chinese height might be five foot nine or six foot i don't know but they're actually quite tall guys they're like they're even those guys that are very very tall you know the first time i saw a very tall chinese i was like hmm he must be mixed race that's racist but i just thought you know for a country they're you know, averagely that height you know like how americans are averagely six foot something chinese are thought of like six foot seven six foot eight but they're not they're those that are and then they're, they're the, it's just a normal variation of height yeah that's like the second one i thought they all looked alike and i think i'm not the only one actually on this one they're like really guys i thought these guys all looked alike in fact for the first week that i was here i could barely tell the difference between a person i had just spoken to and the next person like there are actually a couple of friends that i made in the first week that i probably lost because maybe they thought i was like i didn't want to be friends with them anymore i just didn't know who they were anymore like i wouldn't pass them but now 
actually see the difference like at first i even thought like all chinese heads are round but then they're like those that have like head you know a dog face head like mine dog face head dog face whatever that that you know like you know longitude you know then they're like those are circular they actually have very many variations but those with like small eyes into those that are relatively big like i could not tell the difference they're like actually very very different and the weird thing is these guys think black people all look alike like i don't know how many people i've been walking with and they ask me is this your brother like is this your brother is this your sister you guys look alike like i was like why how how could these guys even think we look alike like somebody who is like very light-skinned put next to me and these people think we actually look alike or this person has like extra big eyes or like a very very you know sharp nose and they're like we look alike but i didn't blame them that because i thought they look alike and they actually do not look alike at all i can tell chinese twins from a regular person but you like need to look at them like i'm even able to tell the difference between a korean japanese and chinese right now yeah that good anyways that's the third meet i really thought they looked alike I don't know if you guys have noticed or just the movies that I've seen I saw before I came to China just never seemed to have winter I know this is very dumb of me but honestly guys I didn't really know if China had winter in fact when I was prepping to come to China I wasn't sure like do I include money because I was coming in a period of September I was coming in September and usually asian winters is like um november november through january february so i wasn't sure if my parents should like prep me with money to buy clothes for winter i really wasn't i'm just like eh, if you have winter maybe it's not that serious like you could just wear like a you know a leather jacket and stuff but guys whoa i got here and i was like how how is this like never part of their movies honestly i don't know if it's just me that watch it, watched selected movies that just seemed sunny and normal and you know coming from like you know an equatorial do i come from an equatorial place i think i do you got means anyway just know we're crossed by the equator so like we have the sun over us like all year round we have like the wet season and the dry season we don't really have like the four seasons like winter summer spring and fall so it was easy for me to imagine like the whole of the world is kind of like that i mean i i knew of course the whole of the world is not like that but china particularly i wasn't sure if they had winter or not so guys yeah so when i was walking through the cold today i was like my god you know that like that cold that makes you feel like you're paralyzed on your face and it's not even snored it's like a scene why this is sinfully cold how could a place be so cold <sighs> Honestly, it has just made me appreciate my home more. I mean, I, I, you know, I like the fact that, you know, they have this, but I think I like the fact that we have the sun much more. Yeah, so guys, I should have Googled that, but I don't know if there is anybody out there and you're planning to come to China and you just do not know how cold it can go, unless you're going to the south. That place is not, you know, they don't really have winter, but they have heavy rains. But if you're coming from Beijing north, like north of the Yellow River, you should probably park especially if you're coming to like north north near russia north because i'm like that close to that side guys you <laughs> you want to have your clothes parked you know if any case don't even buy winter clothes from your country just come and buy authentic clothes from china that takes care of chinese weather because it's ridiculously cold yeah <laughs> about you but seemingly everybody kind of thinks that stuff is cheap in china which i mean like i mean like gadgets because like seemingly everything is just made in china made in china even stuff that is manufactured where is made in china i was like okay china is like the producer of everything which is good you can't fail to get anything you want but the myth you know you're like home and somebody's like yo Momo, i have like seven thousand Seven hundred thousand shillings, you got in shillings, and I want an iPhone X. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think you. I can't. I just. I. I don't even know how to start. Guys, 
stuff in China ain't cheap. The cost of living and standard of living is cheap. If you're earning money in the Chinese R&B. But if you're buying stuff and converting from the Ugandan shilling or whatever shilling, or if you do not have, like, if the value for your country is not anywhere near to the rate of the Chinese RMB, like the dollar, the euro, the pound, I hear even Ghanaian money is actually almost the same. Or you're from, like, Zimbabwe, where they actually use the Chinese RMB as their national currency. You should probably not underestimate the cost of living in this place, especially if you want to go, like, extravagant, luxury vibes, you know? So... The only positive thing is that probably will be cheaper in your country because, you know, there is no tax added. But if you expect like an iPhone X to be 700,000 shillings, I don't know, if I can't probably understand the value of a shilling. This cannot even buy you, probably will buy you an iPhone 5, 5S. I don't even know if those are still, anyway, yeah, but <laughs> stuff in China ain't cheap. You know, I've heard stories, I'm not going home since I graduated. It's been like three years but it's like guys who go home tell me when you reach and meet your friends they somehow expect you to be the most loaded like maybe you should be arriving home driving like the range rover or a bentley or stuff guys i came to study and you have you know very well i'm here to study you have an idea that's my parents still funding me but you're still asking me to be the one that takes you to kfc like what what's that about you know like guys honestly style up so <laughs> I'm not here to rant. I honestly haven't gone through this, but please do not ask me for airtime because I probably will not have money for you. If any case, I should be asking you because you're like here and you've been working and you should know, FYI, that in China, if you're here as a student, a student visa, you're not allowed to work. So meaning I don't even have means of getting money and you're asking me for, hey, Momo, mpaku mitwale, airtime, to get go KFC. Mm -hmm. Today, where am I going to take you? I'm sorry for guys who are international and have no idea. Probably will have subtitles. But, I'm just saying, guys. That, okay. This was not supposed to be a ranting video. This is just one of those myths. And I really hope you guys learn from it. But, people usually think that diasporas, when people come from different diasporas, they have a lot of money, stuff. It's another myth. So, yeah, you guys, whoever is abroad and you're, like, not a citizen of that place or if you've been in another country, share with me. I'm going to leave my Instagram. You can comment in the sections down below. Just tell me, you guys, do you guys go through the same issue? Is it the same or is it just me? But I don't think I'm the only one because I know for sure I have classmates that tell me the same stuff about their country. Yeah, otherwise, you guys, I love you so much, and I, I really missed you, and I hope that you guys like this video, and share with me, tell me what you guys want to hear about this place, or any other topics that you feel like I should talk about. Otherwise, do not forget to like this video, share it, subscribe, I'm out. Bye! And a little bit, not...